let's explore one of the most essential parts of web development, HTML forms. Forms allow users to submit data, while form attributes and input elements help customize the user experience. Now, let's see what is an HTML form. An HTML form is a section where users enter data, like contact information or login credentials. Forms collect and send this data to a web server. Let's see an example of a simple HTML form. Form defines the form, and the action attribute specifies where the data will be sent. Method equals post defines how the data is submitted. Post sends data securely. Now, let's look at some form attributes that affect how forms behave. Action specifies the URL where the form data is sent. Method defines how data is submitted. Target opens the result in a new tab or specific frame. Autocomplete enables or disables browser suggestions for input field. Let's see the example. With autocomplete equals on, the browser suggests previously entered values. Target equals self opens the submission result in the same tab. In this section, we are going to see HTML input types. HTML supports various input types to collect different kinds of data. Let's see the example of HTML input types. The type equals email ensures users enter a valid email. Type equals password hides the input content for privacy. The type equals date opens a calendar interface allowing users to pick a date quickly. The type equals file provides a button to upload files from the user system. Now, let's see HTML input attributes. HTML input attributes help refine user input. Let's explore a few important ones. Placeholder displays hint text in the input field. Required ensures the field must be filled before submission. Min and max set value limits for inputs like numbers or dates. Max length limits the number of characters in the input field. Let's see example.
min and max, limit the age input. He required attribute ensures that the user cannot submit the form without mentioning the age. The max length equals 10, ensures the name doesn't exceed 10 characters. To practice these topics, open the description and click the relevant link. Read the detailed explanation on the page. Scroll down to the bottom. And try it yourself using the live editor. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you understand the topics correctly.